Hey, what's up guys, this is Rich here. If you're anything like me and you're going to GameStop.com and you're kind of wondering, why can't I buy anything that's older than a PlayStation 2 or GameCube game? And it sounds like GameStop is actually gonna be listening to you guys. In an interview with The Verge, GameStop CEO Paul Rain said that his company is looking to get into that vintage game business. Apparently, the company actually has a lot of these games and has been building its inventory over its 25-year history. Seeing all the activity on eBay and all these used game collections selling for big bucks, you know, GameStop wants in on that. They've acknowledged some problems. It's like, where do you get a reliable uh, source of all these old games? How do you assess their condition? How do you refurbish them if they need refurbishing? So all those big questions yet to be answered. If you're anything like me, when you're in some of those independent game shops or maybe you're overseas in Japan and you're seeing all these games you had when you were a kid and you're like, I have to own all of these. I can't play them, but I need all of them. Well, now you can buy them at GameStop, potentially in the near future. Bigger implications. GameStop's a huge global entity, you know? They're everywhere, literally. What does that mean for some of these smaller game shops? What do they do about this? You know, that, uh, they make a lot of their living off of these NES, SNES games that you can't actually find at GameStop. So what does that mean for them? No doubt you guys have plenty of thoughts on this. Maybe you're thrilled, maybe you're a little pissed. Leave your comments below. And for all things, new games, future games, and the really old stuff that your parents played when they were kids, keep it here on IGN.